what is going on it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it again yes indeed to let you know what is going on with the divine masculine for april 2019 what is going on you guys did y'all miss me because i surely surely missed you yes indeed shout out to all my new subscribers thank you so much for sending love and light to my page thank you so much for the love and support if there's anyone that would like to book a personal or private reading you can do so by clicking that about tab all right there is a hyperlink that says scorpion reds tarot at simply book me again so, uh, scorpion reds tarot at simply book me <clears throat> i only do video face-to-face -face video readings um if you guys book a reading with me make sure that you send me either um, a message on instagram my instagram link is in the about tab too so once you book with me make sure that you send me a message on instagram be like hey it's me you know so um that or google hangouts all right so and of course the email is scorpion reds uh scorpion reds yeah scorpion reds at gmail Scorpion Reds at Gmail, my bad. I was trying to figure out was the Scorpion Reds tarot. I believe it's just Scorpion Reds at Gmail. If this video resonates at any time and if you want to give a love donation, you could do so by um, clicking that PayPal link in the description. You guys, let's get into the energy, all right? Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here. Thank you so much for bringing us in this moment of elevation, this moment of clarity, this moment of just trying to get ourselves refocused and recentered and just, you know, embracing the current energies and whatever the situations is going on right now and just trying to find our best way to navigate this flawlessly and professionally. All right. So, <laughs> Father God, please give us guidance for the divine masculine. Thank you so much for all of the guidance in the past, present and future that you have given us. Please give us guidance surrounding the divine masculine in the month of april 2019 thank you again for all of your divine messages and blessings thank you again all right so let's get the overall energy So it looks like, okay. Okay, so what fell out here, you guys, is compassion, doubt, and self acceptance. All right, so just intuitively, if I could just speak for a second, um, I'm getting that you guys need to kind of just. Even though there's some doubt surrounding the current situation with the Divine Masculine, it's like you just need to have some compassion and kind of like have some self-acceptance of what's going on right now in your life. Like, um, it's like regardless of whatever doubt it is that's going on, something is going on where you know that you played a part or you did something or you contributed to something and you kind of have to, you know step back to yourself and accept your responsibility for the fact that you did contribute to something regardless of whatever doubt you have whatever doubt you have the truth is will always be revealed so i don't necessarily know what you guys have a doubt about but still just be nice and just have some compassion um in dealing with any situation that you're dealing with because regardless of what the truth will always be revealed when the weather changes and you go through seasons and stuff the flowers are always come out to bloom do you understand so the truth will always open up to you when it is time so you know just have some compassion throughout your doubt and just you know 
kind of self accept what's going on in your situation so compassion it says as you pray each day for greater compassion a new self is born drawing new people and new experiences dear lord help me feel an ever deepening self acceptance okay may i see myself as you see me so your life is changing. You're going through cycles right now, Divine Masculine. And it's just like, look, you, you, you're you going to have to, you know, really look yourself in the mirror and just like kind of accept where things at, you know, where things are at right now in your life. You know, and just find some way and just kind of open up your heart and be a little bit more gentle and compassionate about the situation. Because as things are changing, the world and the universe is opening up new things and new experiences and stuff like that so it's like i feel like you might be a little bit angry about whatever your current situation is and we're going to pull cards to figure out what's going on with your situation because you have some doubt about something offering all to the divine doesn't mean negativity never arise but you can say free me from this prison of doubt i cast this burden to you show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence Something is going on right now with the Divine Masculine that you have a lot of doubt about something. Something is going on in your life right now, Divine Masculine, that you just don't trust. Something that you don't trust. And I feel like it may be getting the best of you. And I feel like that, neg yeah, like that negativity is beating your ass right now. And I don't think that right now you are the, the most nice person. Because I don't feel like it's something, it's something that that is going on in your life that you don't trust and you have some doubt about and I don't feel like you want to accept something until you know exactly what's going on but you have one one truth that you do know is that you played a part in the situation and with that being said self-acceptance nothing is more exhausting than endlessly working on yourself when you work I'm sorry when you offer your whole being fully to love, self-acceptance arise spontaneously. May I rest in our divine oneness, dear divine. Right? So again, compassion. Doubt. And <clears throat> self-acceptance. So let's dig a little deeper to figure out what this all means shall we this is the starman deck father please give me guidance for the divine masculine April 2019 thank you so much please give me guidance for the divine masculine please clarify a flame has been blown out what I'm seeing even though this flame went out just the way how this is see it see now who the hell is this anyway I am back at it my dears let's get to it what was I saying so like I feel like Someone blew a flame out, but regardless, like normally when my candles go out, once I blow it out, it'll just kind of like, it won't continue ambering or whatever. Like it'll just like, you know, it'll go out. But this candle, like once that flame just kind of got blown out, it just kind of continued to still try to keep itself going. Like almost looked like it wanted to like relight itself if it could. Like it was trying so hard. <laughs> The King of Swords, the Eight of Swords. There's a lot of air energy. There's a lot of air energy. The Moon, the King of Wands, and then the Hierophant in reverse. It's two kings? Why is there two kings? Mmm. Mm -mm. Give 
Give me some more information on that. The chariot. The three of swords. Ooh, bitch. Mm. I see what's going on with that doubt now. <clears throat> There's two kings. There are two kings in this situation. Okay? Ooh, divine masculine. What a little tricky pickle you done got yourself in, buddy boy. So it looks like here there's some... You're trying to show compassion to a situation because you got serious doubt. And you finding it hard to come to terms with yourself to have some self-acceptance about some little situation that's going on right here. Something that is going to cause a divorce with this hybrid in reverse because someone broke somebody's vow. Someone is living in a very non-traditional way. The divine masculine feels like they are being guided by their intuition. Um, they feel like they are enslaved. They feel like that they're enslaved, like they're trapped. <laughs> all right this is the king of swords all right right now the divine masculine is in a state of just power you know because the ma <laughs> divine masculine knows without a shadow of a doubt okay that something ain't clean in the milk something ain't clean in the fucking milk and they said you know what I feel like I'm I feel like I'm a slave right now like I'm trapped like someone just like has shackles and chains around my mind my body my just like when they're just not able to freely move for some reason it's just like they have to really 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 think long and hard how to maneuver yourself out of a situation that they're trying to cut out of their life because I definitely feel like they don't you know, certain people, it's just like, you know, I don't mind being trapped in, 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 a, in a healthy love situation. Like, I rest easy here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm mentally wrapped up in a situation because it's love surrounding me. Yes, I don't mind my mind being trapped. You know, shoot, go ahead and mummify me in that situation if my brain is thinking in that, in that direction. However, when you think that there's some secrets going on. There's something hidden going on that you don't know about. The King of Swords is about facts, truth. <laughs> like, listen, they don't sit here and they ain't about to shuck and jive with you. They not about to pussyfoot. They not about to do none of this bullshit with you. Like, what's the facts? What's the what? Where are your car facts at? I feel like someone is asking, like, where the fuck is your car facts at? Where are your body facts at? Okay, and this is whatever the hell this is, these secrets that's been going on. The king of swords is determined he's going to get the fuck to the bottom of that shit. And whatever this is, the king of swords is also like the judgment card to me. You know, he is someone that is like the trial and the jury. He makes the final decision like he don't look to nobody else to ask, oh, what's their opinion on something? Oh. Okay, well, this is not adding up. If there's any type of mystery, type of secrets and illusions and uh, what? It's not adding up. And something is burdening their mind. Because they feel like something ain't clean in the fucking milk. And their intuition is guiding them to search for facts and truth and cut out what don't make the fuck sense, god damn it. I feel there is a king of wands that is getting in the way of a marriage, of a, of a commitment. There's another king in this situation. So right next to the moon card where the, the, the divine masculine is already thinking, it, he's sitting here with doubt. 
And God is trying to ask him to listen, have some compassion with the situation. You know what I'm saying? And like I told you from the beginning, everything will be revealed. The truth always comes to light. And that's what the divine masculine is searching for. Divine masculine is looking for truth. Because they're not about to be in prison in a situation where it's something that they don't trust what the fuck is going on. The divine masculine has been feeling anxiety. Almost sick. Because they know that there's another man in the picture. Another Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And this person has been getting away of a commitment. Whereas though, it might cause a complete ending to something that was a solid relationship. Do you understand what I'm saying? There was a committed relationship there. But now because the divine masculine has some doubt. And I feel like that this is what you might need to accept that. The divine masculine, the divine masculine knows like deep in divine masculine heart. That's why they've been like stuck. They've been stuck because it's like, I'm not, I want to know what the fuck is going on. I want to know the truth because I can't sleep. I can't think. I can't eat. My intuition is telling me something the fuck ain't right. Young. Something ain't right. And it's something real fishy going on with my community. Like, this is somebody finding out that the person that they was with lives like an untraditional lifestyle behind their back. And they didn't even know it. You see what I'm saying? So, it's like the secret is, is that the person that they was with, you know what I'm saying? Is sneaking around with a king of wands. Living an untraditional lifestyle that goes against their commitment. Do you see what I'm saying? And this is why the the divine masculine is like, oh yeah? Oh yeah? For real? Alright, so I, I can just listen. I'm going to try to have some compassion about this situation. Alright? I had some doubt. I felt like something wasn't going on. I went and searching for truth. I'm standing in the truth of the situation. I... I see what it needs to see. What needs I see what I need to see. So what needs to be done? I need to move forward. I need to move forward the fuck on out of this situation and get the fuck over this shit. Cause I'm damn sure not about to wallow in no heartbreak. I feel like the divine masculine kinda I'm not saying that they like really skip skipped over finding out about this third party and going through heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that they skipped over it, but I want to say like the divine masculine surely didn't sit there and wallow and be like, oh my God, like I'm just like wallowing and like they're like, oh no, for real. All right. Cause I'm gonna be good. Bye. The fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I have uh, like, I, I really do feel like the divine masculine is having a hard time kind of accepting the fact that this bitch would do this like because the divine masculine is a very prideful person like and he feels like ain't no one better than him like he is the divine masculine you know what i'm saying and it's just like for somebody to betray him bitch that they were committing they self to and you got another king in the situation and you got me feeling insecure? Oh, no. Like, this is fucking... Uh-uh. Divine Masculine is not going for that shit. They was like, uh-uh. I only thing I got to do is feel insecure. I have some anxiety. One, two. Won't be no three times, bitch. I'm done. What? And now I know for sure that there's another fucking nigga that you fucking with? Oh, okay. Without a doubt. I'm going to self-accept that shit. And I'm going to show some compassion to myself. I'm going to move the fuck on. Because like I said, as you pray every day for greater compassion, a new self is reborn, drawing new people and new experiences to you. Dear Lord, help me free. Um, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Dear Lord, help me feel ever deepening self acceptance. May I see myself as you see me. The divine masculine is trying to grow because I feel like this was the fucking wake up call for them. Like this was that. This was universe. The universe checking the shit out of them right now. You know what I'm saying? It says agree to fucking disagree. You see, you see shit differently. That's life with another person. What? Why the hell I can't read today? What is going on with me? You see shit differently. That's life with another person. Good times. Oh. What the fuck they mean by that? No, because that's like shady as fucking shit. The back of this car, considering what we talking about right now. It says you see shit differently. That's life with another person. Good times. Bitch, are they fucking kidding me right now? Do y'all see this shit? Are y'all seeing this shit? Are y'all seeing this shit, y'all? Are y'all seeing this shit? No, sir. No fucking sir. Ra, 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 bitch, let me tell you something, huh? Ha, 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 ha. Spirit, you fancy. Listen, did you just did you just go and rock on Divine Masculine like that and just tell Divine Masculine this whole ass bitch <laughs> that life with another person, good times, and that you seeing shit differently? Divine Masculine, like, hold on now. They is trying the fuck out of you right now. You seeing shit differently. Am I tripping? Am I tripping, y'all? Is that not shady? Y'all let me know in the comments. Is that not shady? Listen, they said agree to disagree. Because I feel like you're going to come to the girl that you're dealing with, Divine Masculine. And you're going to be like, who the fuck is this nigga? Who the fuck is Sam? Yeah, I've been seeing you texting him and shit like that. Yeah. Well, who the fuck is this nigga? This person gonna be like, oh, that's just my friend. That's like my bro. Woo, woo, woo. You being insecure. Woo, woo, woo. Dot, 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 dot. And you just gonna be like, look, we just gonna have to agree to disagree because I already know there's the truth behind this situation somewhere. And the truth behind that shit is you see shit differently, okay? Because that life with another person was good times for this person that you're arguing with okay i hope i'm making sense because i damn sure get it y'all shady is damn shit please give me one more card to clarify that so i just make sure i'm not tripping here because i feel like they trying to say that this girl was having a good it says change yourself first to buy masculine Wants shit to be different. So the divine masculine wants shit to be different right now. But spirit is saying you need to change yourself first. That was the first thing I see. Agree to fucking. Agree to fucking disagree. And change yourself first. Is this making some sense to y'all divine masculine? Whatever the situation it is going, like, because I do feel like you have been mentally burdened by this situation, most definitely. Okay? When you confront this person, you already know this motherfucker's going to lie. Trust your intuition. That's what spirit is trying to tell you. Trust your intuition. Your, listen, the moon is you being guided by your intuition you could be a cancer you could be a pisces or you definitely could be a cancer because that's that chariot card over there too but or you could be um a gemini libra or aquarius man that's going through this either i'm feeling like it's either a water sign or air sign man that is the that's in the energy of the divine masculine that's experiencing this. And that this person is cheating on them with and broke this 
connection, broke this commitment, broke this marriage with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. And this person decided to know I'm going to be emotionally strong and I'm going to move forward. I'm moving forward victoriously. I'm not about to sit here and wallow in no damn heartbreak about this shit. I already had doubts about this situation. So I just need to come to some self-acceptance about what the fuck lesson I needed to learn about this shit and emotionally move the fuck on and be victorious. Like, regardless, I'm going to win. I'm definitely about to get the fuck over this shit. Like, I ain't about to be sitting up here crying over this bitch. Like, that's honestly what I feel. Like, I really do feel like that. And then, on the other side, it says, wants shit to be different. You see shit differently. That's life with another person. Good times. So, maybe Divine Masculine feels like that life with that you see shit differently now that you want shit to be different and you see shit differently now that life with with that other person was good times for you so maybe the person that you were with before this relationship right here and i am going to say karmic or whatever i want to say that you know you feel like the person that you were with before this it was better times there you may you may agree to disagree, but you need to change yourself first. Shit. But you want things to be different. Wow. Brown liquor. Brown. Mm -mm. Let's uh get one of these Alice in Wonderland Oracle cords. Please give me guidance for the divine masculine. Like, I'm honestly, listen, this is what I'm getting. Like, I feel like whatever the fuck happened right here with this situation that this person that they're dealing with, Divine Masculine is saying that shit, what you did, this shit right here, this shit right here, this shit can't, we gonna have to agree to disagree. And all right, I'm gonna have to change myself for and so I'm gonna have to emotionally get myself together and move the fuck on. Because, bitch, you just did some fucking shit that just really broke my heart for real, for real. And it, it, this shit can't be washed away. Not even in the Florida water. Listen. That shit can't be washed away. Not even in the Florida water. What is this? Law is not justice. Rules that are not fair. You feel like there's something very unbalanced right now. Because this came in the... Alright? in the reverse and what i want to say is honestly and i'm gonna keep it 100 percent with you i really feel like divine masculine fucked around and got his karma you know what i'm saying like he jumps out of the frying pan into the motherfucker fire you know i feel like the because it's telling you that right now it's you know it's telling divine masculine that the situation is going on you don't want to really have any self-acceptance about the situation you have doubt but it's something that you really are battling with accepting about the situation i really do feel like it was driving the divine masculine crazy but he really did not want to believe that this bitch was out here doing this shit but i feel like now he knows because he feels that he felt and he feels that heartbreak, bitch. And he's trying to get over and just, like, quickly move the fuck on. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, you might have to agree to disagree. But at the end of the day, you know you got to work on yourself first. You know you got to. And you know that the situation that you were in before was way better than that. That was better times. It was good times. And right now, I feel like Divine Masculine is getting their motherfucking karma. And now they wishing this shit was different. Now, I feel like you having doubts about even getting involved with the person that you get with. Because I feel like you might be getting taste of your own medicine. Right now, you feel like law is not justice. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like you... Like the rule... Like 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 someone wasn't playing fair with you. Let me read exactly what this said. So, it says... Alright... It says, law is not justice. Believing the law is right under any circumstances. Accepting the judgment of a powerful person without question. Allowing yourself to be influenced without knowing the story. <laughs> a deep bias which is coloring your vision. A flawed filter through which you or another may be seeing the world. 
take time to think independently oh okay so i really do i really do feel like I really do feel like on a deep level that the divine masculine, their intuition is 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 number one. Key, I feel like the divine masculine is very intuitive, okay? Off breaks. Like I already know that. And like if you've been sitting here trapped in your mind, a prison in your own mind. And your intuition is guiding you to something. And you find out that there's another man in this situation. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the divine masculine is maybe easily being misled with whatever the facts is that came out. Like initially, you know what I'm saying? Like, And I want to say because... And I, and I hope that I'm making sense. Okay, so listen. The Divine Masculine know how deep, dark, and treacherous and, and sneaky and shit that he could be. So, I feel like he never thought that anyone could be slick enough to pull his shit on him. You understand what I'm saying? That's why this is saying law is not justice. Rules that are not fair. And I want to say that they feel like for someone to be as treacherous and as slick as them to pull a them on them and them not see it like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like you it's like they're doubting the shit it's like I, I know good and goddamn well. Ain't no way that this baby get I, ain't nobody about to do that shit to me. Like not to me. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this is like the divine masculine, like willfully being controlled and just like whatever people, the person is telling them just like, no, nah, that's just my cousin. That's just my friend. OK, I believe that. Yeah, that, that got to be your cousin because I know good and damn well you ain't that motherfucking stupid. I know good and well because I would know. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I listen, I'm the sneakiest of the sneakiest of the freakiest nigga. So I would know if someone's trying to pull on me on me. And even though I feel I have doubt, strong ass doubt, you know? <laughs> ain't no way. Like, yeah, ain't, ain't, ain't no way. I feel like <laughs> that's why they're saying that you need to have some self acceptance. Okay? And, I, and, and that's why they're saying that you need to work on yourself because it's like, at the end of the day, what you put out, you get back. And I really do want, and I, and, and I don't want to offend nobody, but I'm keeping it 100. Like, that's how karma is, you know? That is how karma is. As soon as you try to find a time in your life where you trying to chill or do right or just do whatever, like, every turn. Reconciliation. Who you trying to get back with? Reconciliation. You done moved the fuck on from somebody. From whoever was cheating on you. Or you about to move the fuck on. Past life. For, oh. So the Divine Masculine, like I said, it was better there. It was better back there. It was better then. I feel like the Divine Masculine wants to go back to this past life relationship, but it's in the reverse. I don't feel like he's going to be receptive. Healing family issues. He got some family issues going on right now in his household. He don't. He know he's not going to be accepted because he's going to have to heal some, some family issues in his household. However, he, he really wants to keep an open mind about the situation. Because I think he's just realizing now, like, because it says religious factors. Okay. Yeah, because this person that they were dealing with, they was out there doing all this wild ass shit. And I feel like the divine masculine is like, I don't want no whole ass goddamn woman out there, like, sleeping with no whole bunch of fucking men. He like, I can sleep around with a whole bunch of bitches. The bitch I'm with, you can't be fucking, no, you only gonna fuck me. Like, <laughs> Like, that's, I mean, that is kind of narcissistic, but it's just like, 
what the fuck type of shit? Like, I just for for the divine masculine for a woman to be sleeping around with two different men. That is just like what? You know what I'm saying? They like, man, I rather just go back to my ex. Like, I I I rather just reconcile and try to go back to my ex. But I just don't feel like that she would accept me, even though we have a lot of history. This is somebody from your past, all right? Past life relationship. But you do not feel like. You can just easily move back there. But you really, really do. If things could be perfect in a perfect world, you will be able to go back and reconcile with this person from your past. But this person is not going to accept you because you know that there's some family shit going on with you that you got to heal. So, um, listen, a lot of you guys might... As you can see, it looks like a baby, a child. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might have a child with this person that y'all are dealing with. Um, and it looks like the angels are over top of this family situation. Like trying to kind of heal and make this situation better for like all parties involved. So it's something going on with a, a child's mother or maybe... I don't want to say their their mother. I want no. I want to say their mother too. Like maybe even their their mother. You know, I feel like they need to heal some family issues just within their family dynamic all together. But I want to say their direct family, their like direct bloodline. Because as you can see, like and and you see the way this man is looking at that little boy and pulling his head back like that like i don't think that this man think that that's his fucking child you see that shit am i tripping look at the way he pulling that little boy head back look at my tripping he pulling that little boy head back like do you you don't even look like little nigga like you don't even got my eyebrows and shit little nigga like got big ass nose and shit like who the fuck that man like what I look like that nigga Hector. This little nigga look like my... Listen, where the motherfucking... We about to go out to CVS and get a motherfucking blood test, bitch. Because we about to heal this. We about to figure out. Father, I need you to come down and um talk to me now. Because this bitch... First off, I already know that this bitch sneaking around with somebody else. Who fucking baby is this? That, that little nigga look like his name should be Hector. The fuck? Who fucking baby? Who? Uh, that look like that little nigga Hector that lived down the motherfucking street like two blocks over. When you make a left and you make a right, bitch. I be seeing that nigga at the fucking bus. You fucking with a nigga that ride the bus? <laughs> no, that's not fun. Divine masculine, that's, I feel like that's why they feel like, they feel like shit's not fair, like, law is not justice, because it's just like, I've been pulling shit, I've been, I've been getting over, I've been doing my thing for so long, I ain't never got caught up in no shit like this, you understand what I'm saying, like, one no bitch, like, come on now, like, I know this bitch ain't just trying to motherfucking do this shit. And where the fuck is she at? I need to see her. Like, I need, I'm about to be nosy. Because, like, where the fuck is this girl at? What is her tea? You know what I'm saying, y'all? What is her tea? Divine Masculine is keeping his open, he's keeping his mind open in love in regards to someone that has the same beliefs as him. I feel like this whole ass lifestyle, like him chasing fast girls and, and things like that. And it, 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 I really do it a deep, like, <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry. I cannot stop. Look at the way this man is looking at that baby. Like, father, tell me who baby this is. Because why Why else? Like, what, what else is you trying to heal in your family? Okay, other than the, hold on, what uh, Tyler Perry said? I need a Dinah test. I need Dinah in here. Dinah. Okay. The fuck? Who baby is this? That boy got like bleach blonde ass hair and shit like that. What the? I ain't got it to do with you. I do not got it to do with you. Please give me some additional guidance. 
in regards to this love situation with the divine masculine what family issues need to be healed what is this soulmate their soulmate they're thinking about their soulmate right now and, and this person is down on their knees. Like, I feel like, in the religious factors, like, I really do feel like if the divine masculine could get that past life love to fucking talk to him, I think that he will fucking get down on his knee and marry her this time, yeah. He, he wants that soulmate union. He wants to go back to his soulmate and get himself unstuck out of a situation. He feels like he feels stuck in whatever situation he's in, okay? And he's like, I'm about to get myself the fuck up out of this shit. Now that I know what the fuck I know, fuck that shit. I'm going back to my soul, man. I'm going back to the one I truly love. And I need to ask her to marry me because I'm not even about to play around no more. Because I've been playing the fuck too much. And I feel like with this stuck car, I feel like divine masculine feel like he been running he been he been rolling around in the mud with, with, with these bitches like these are mud dwelling ass bitches like what fucking stank ass trifling dirty ass hoes like that's date like these some dirty ass fucking dry pussy ass hoes like listen dank dirty muddy face dry pussy ass hoes the fuck we f Listen, we we splash mountain over here, bitch. We don't do no motherfucking dry, dank, and muddy waters, bitch. No, we don't do that. Uh-uh. It wasn't even no water. It's not even any water on this picture, honey. It is dry. It is dry. How it's so dry and you can't even move? How you stuck in this dry? I don't get that. If I'm masculine seeing the signs... They're in a place of contemplation right now, and they're thinking about abandoning the situation that they're currently in. Like I said, they like this situation broke their heart, but they were just like, I don't think the situation was that deep to them that it really got to them that that bad because I don't think that it took very much for them to figure out what the fuck is going on and they just and they said without hesitation i'm moving on successfully like i'm not even about to fucking play with you here like bitch you you fucking dry as fuck anyway i want to say like your pussy don't even be wetter than my old bitch like <laughs> oh god like i swear to god like us why why this car so dry like it's dry like this relationship was dry it was born i feel like with the soulmate with their soulmate that shit was red hot spicy hot tamale you understand what i'm saying they used to talk about shit under the moon and stars they used to stay up watching tv you know Watch porn stars, uh, porn movies and shit. Try to re reenact, make uh, their own movies and do. Like, they, they was wild. Like, they like to do. It was not dry. It was not dank. And it definitely wasn't dry. Splash Mountain, bitch. Hashtag Splash Mountain. Okay? My bitches in the chat already know. Splash Mountain. Especially my Libras. Libra. Would it be, bra? Libra. Splash Mountain. Libra bitches know what's going on. They know about that Splash Mountain. What? Uh-uh, you ain't never gonna say nothing dry over here. Excuse me, honey. What? Collect? Listen, give me some additional guidance surrounding this um, love situation with the divine masculine. What's this here? The six of pentacles. Giving the two. Giving the two. The queen of cups that he already know is pissy and mad at him. A death card in reverse. You trying to avoid a death. Knight of Wands, huh? And the strength. All right, so this is what I'm getting right here. I feel like the King. I was about to say the King of Cups. Did the King of Cups come out? No, the Queen of Cups came out. I don't know why I wanted to say the King of Cups. Maybe it is the King of Cups. Listen, I want to say that the, the Divine Masculine is at a place right now where I, he feels like he's having to give to two situations. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
or that someone in his situation is trying to give to two different people. And he's standing over there unsatisfied and so is someone else waiting for someone to give, you know. And he's like, motherfucker, I ain't nobody's goddamn charity case, okay. So, I really do feel like someone tried to do a him on him. Like someone tried to do a him on him. And I want to say, now he's in a place where he's unsatisfied. And now he's the merchant. And it's like, this person is taking too long to give to me. I'm unsatisfied. I'd rather just go back to my queen of cups. You know what I'm saying? Because these people look unsatisfied because it don't look like the person gave anything to them at all. They, none of them have anything on the plate. Nothing. Okay, and I really do feel like Divine Masculine got a taste of his own medicine. But the Divine Masculine is just like, ain't nobody, my, my plate is not being filled here. I know that I pissed, and I mean pissed, and I mean pissed. Okay, my Pisces Cancer Scorpio off. But I'd rather go back to her, because I know that I was taken care of. I just don't know how to get her out of this element, because I did this person so fucking wrong. I don't know how to get this person, how to not look at me and not be insecure. And the only reason why she's insecure, because I know I cheated on her. I know that I dogged her out. I know, I know that her being this way is only with me. This is not who she naturally is. She's only this way with me. It's because I was always having her in a situation she she i put her in this situation where i was the merchant and i was given to two you understand and that's what made her emotionally unstable and her insecure and her acting do the things that she was doing you know but she's the queen and now i jumped out of the frying pan into the fire and now my ass is sitting here waiting for my plate to be fulfilled in the situation where i left her like this. This is how the Divine Masculine left her. Alright? And he's just like, I don't know how to get her to look at me any other way because I left her like this. And I feel like if I go back to her, Divine Masculine feels like if he goes back to his Divine Feminine in this way, you know what I'm saying? Because the Six of Pentacles is just like... They're going to have to go back and be able to adequately give and receive. And it's two people there. You can't adequately give someone all of you if you having to share and divvy out shit. You see what I'm saying? You can't do that. And that she's not going to be satisfied with that. That's not going to fill her cup. And you're going to get cussed the fuck out. But the Divine Masculine is trying to avoid a death. Like I told you, that um, candle that just blew out. As it, it normally it would just go out and be done, but that thing kept like flickering, like it didn't want to just die. And that's his thing. He just does not want this to just die. He does not want her to just stay in his way with him. He knows now that this is his soulmate. He knows that this situation that he got himself in is lackluster and dry at best. He was out here being the Knight of Wands in reverse. He know he was motherfucking running around very frivolously. You understand? Being a whole ass nigga just giving, just giving himself to anybody. Like I said, he was rolling around in the mud. But for some reason, I feel like he does not want this to end. But he doesn't have the strength to really come to her. Because I don't feel like he knows how to change himself from being that way. And I feel like he... It's possibly scared that he might do it again. For some reason, he do not feel like he... He don't feel confident. He don't feel confident. So, let's give the Divine Masculine guidance in regards to the heart. What's it? Victory and success. That was in the reverse. Power. You're not feeling powerful. You're not feeling victorious. And you're not feeling successful right now. Lord. What's it? 
base chakra you don't you don't <laughs> you're not rooted you know what i'm saying you not you don't feel protection i don't even feel like you're aware of I mean, you're clearly not aware of your situation because you're sitting here in denial. Even though that you have reason to have doubt, it, it, you still were not able to... It says what? Disruptions. You don't want any more disruptions in your life. I feel like you feel torn apart, like you're being torn apart brick by brick. Damn, Divine Masculine. Really? Hair grow long like Chia. Net grow long like Nia. I am the big idea. My twins big like Tia. So listen. The um divine masculine feels powerless. They don't feel victorious in the current situation that they're in. This is their um their third eye chakra. I don't feel like they are really, really they're not able to see what they need to see. You know what I'm saying? They need to have some honest communication with their self and speak truth to their self about their situation. You can't sit there and be in denial but don't really want to like have some self-acceptance about your situation. How you got yourself in that situation. If you deserve the shit that you're getting in this situation. You know, because at the end of the day, you don't really... I don't feel like the Divine Masculine really knows who they are. Like, you don't know who you are. You don't feel protected. I don't think you have any true awareness and any insight of the things you do and that there is universal law. What you put out, you get back. Listen, there's been a lot of disruptions going on in the Divine Masculine's happiness. And I feel like he feels like he's being ripped apart brick by brick. And he's tired of these stupid fucking disruptions coming in his life and he don't want no more damn disruptions coming in his life i need some more energy please give me some additional guidance for the divine masculine for april oh what does it say foundation and achievements i feel like the divine masculine they can see you know they can see and they know that they don't on their own, they don't have any foundation and achievements on their own. And it's it's like, but if you don't want no more disruptions and, 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 and things like that, then you need to work harder. You need to see that you need to work harder and create your own foundations and have and achieve things on your own. You know? And then you can step into that role of authority. Do you understand? And I also feel like if you don't get yourself together, you are really soon going to be ended up having an answer to an authority. You're going to have to end up answering to an authority. You want to end up having an answer to the court of law because number four is about foundations, hard work, order. It's about order. Problem solving, you know, reliability. So I feel like if you do not get yourself together you're going to end up in court and i want to say like especially if some of y'all difficult because y'all know it's been swirling around it's been swirling around in my readings too you know what i'm saying that the divine masculines are out here possibly having a baby that's coming by the karmic and that's why i say i mean it just can't i just said that a second ago though you know what i'm saying that I, I, it comes out in my readings. I just come out in other people's readings. Like, it's just crazy. And I really just feel like for this to be the collective energy like this, to be repeated over and over and over again, it's really fucking crazy. And y'all, y'all divine masculine, y'all have to, like, accept what you have done, the, <laughs> the wheel that you started to spin and what you've created. And especially if you created a family environment with this karmic, you know, if you feel, if you have a doubt and you're sitting up there putting the child's head back like that, looking at the child, trying to see if y'all have any relatable features. And this bitch is sitting over there like, oh, no, he looks just like you and, and your mother. And you calling the spirit like, um, no. That nigga look like Felipe. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I written no, come on. Like, I really do. And you already seen that horror fit in reverse of this. So, you know, it's so real. I'm, I'm going to say, like, ungodly behavior going on. You know what I'm saying? It's some, it's some real shady ass shit going on. For it to shock the divine masculine. 
Because <laughs> y'all know what type of shit he be into. Third party is his thing. So I feel like for it to just be like some regular third party shit, I don't feel like, I do feel like the Divine Masculine does have a, a big head ego like, uh, tuh, no one can pull a me on me. But I do feel like at the same time, it was something that was so, so unfathomable for him that he knew I'm way better without this. For him to pick up this chariot and get the fuck on and, 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 and decide I'm about to get over this heartbreak quick. This had to be something that is just like unforgivable. Unfor unfor but right now what I'm going to say is because you've been spreading yourself so thin and everything. That's why you feel so powerless and you don't have that victory and success that's going on right now. But who is, if you created a baby with someone, I can see Y'all going to court because you 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 you're looking for protection because right now you don't feel no protection. All right. And you're tired of stupid ass disruptions going on. You're like, this is my baby. I want proof that this is my baby. I want proof that this is my baby. Because at the end of the day, I don't even have that many foundation and achievements or anything right now for you to even take from me any motherfucking way. So if I'm going to be giving some money and if we go to court, bitch. I'm probably going to, I can see the divine masculine filing the goddamn paper to take the karmic to court to, to answer to an authority because it's like he don't want no more disruptions and bullshit going on in his life. And it's like he don't feel protected and he don't feel grounded. He really, really doesn't. And he feels like there's something, he is a lack of insight. You know, it's a lack of awareness. He feel like he would feel a lot motherfucking better. If he had an authority solidified shit for him so he know what the fuck he getting himself into because there is doubt about this shit. And you're like, okay, y'all telling me to be compassionate and have some self-acceptance. I will accept this shit when I see some motherfucking paperwork saying that's my fucking baby. Fuck what y'all talking about. My masculine ain't going for that shit. He is not going for that shit. Father God, let's get some last guidance. For the divine masculine. All right. Listen. The chariot moving forward victoriously, like they're moving. They are moving forward victoriously. And they got pit bulls carrying them. Oh, yeah, this some yeah. They in that motherfucker listening to some Tupac. Pitching me rolling in my 500 beans. <laughs> Pitching me rolling. Six of Cups. Reminiscing about the fucking past. Reminiscing about someone that you loved in your past. Someone that you had deep, fond memories with. Like, you really looking back and you just... Having moments of nostalgia, you know, and it's like this person was emotionally given to me. This person was emotionally fulfilling to me. This person was literally the sunshine to my morning. Like this person would wake up and just kiss me in the morning and just like, you know, this person in their past was just like literally everything to them. And I feel like they 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 want to they want to go back home. And they want to have a new foundation. They want to start something brand new. They want to start something brand new with this person from their past. It's just like, I, I, because I feel like the Divine Masculine had the key to that lock. Like, literally, y'all used to live with each other or something like that. It's just like, I'm getting my key back. And we're going to do this shit right this time. I'm not even fucking around this time. Because, like, Divine Masculine went, like, little do the Divine Feminine know the Divine Masculine just went through some bullshit. The hung man. They feel hung. They still feel hung up about. They still. They, they're they still hung up on. Um, uh, yeah. They still hung up on. They still hung up on the past. And they want to start a new beginning there. And they're trying to find a way to sneak out of the situation. That they, and like. <laughs> They feel like this person that they're with, um, I want to say that they feel like the person that they with hung them up 
hung them out to dry. Like this person, I want to say like tricked them and kind of deceived and and this person tricked and deceived them and, and, and got them hung up in a situation. I feel like this person trapped them that they're with. And they're like, I'm about to figure out a way how to get the fuck up out of this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to figure out how to get up out of this shit with all of my shit. Like, this motherfucker is not taking me for nothing. You understand what I'm saying? I'm about to find out if this baby is mine. I'm about to get some authorities on this shit. And if, I, if, if, we, if I'm going to be on child support, bitch, I'm going to put myself on child support like shit. Or, bitch, I'm going to take my baby and motherfucking dip out. This bitch, you just had me try to... No. No. But no. 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 I'm not even... No, but, like, no, that's literally, like, how I'm feeling. Like, I really do feel like the divine masculine. Especially the ones that's dealing with a new, a new baby coming in. It's just, like, they are not... They feel like this person... This person was a sly fox that they were dealing with. And this person try to get away with, you know what I'm saying? Try and hang them, try and get them hung up, you know? I don't feel like this divine masculine. I don't think the divine masculine like willingly asked to be in this environment. This person like mentally played a game on them and did some underhanded ass shit. Just to win in this situation. And I want to say that whoever this person is. The Divine Masculine was with. This person did some underhanded shit possibly. And got their self pregnant. Or. Like I said. I don't even think the Divine Masculine thinks that this baby is his. I feel like the Divine Masculine. Think that this, this woman is trying to trap them. With somebody else's fucking baby. You understand what I'm saying? Like he feels like this is a fucked up ass environment. Because. The way that that man was looking at that child in that car. And it's like, I'm trying to get the fuck out of this situation. I'm curious to see. Father, please give me some guidance surrounding this divine... Um, not the divine feminine. Please give me some guidance surrounding the person that the divine masculine is dealing with. Please tell me... Information about the person that the divine masculine is dealing with. How does this person feel? Thank you. The three of coins. They feel like they work well together. Um, and possibly could have met each other at work. Did they still have to work together? Yeah, I feel like the divine, um, divine masculine. This person, I guess the karmic, if y'all want to call her that. Um, this person feels like it don't matter. We still got to work together. It don't matter. Like, that's honestly what I'm getting. Carrots and stuff. I feel like maybe y'all work in a grocery store or something like that around some produce or some shit like that. The nine of coins. Okay. My bad, y'all. So, what is this? The strength, the knight of swords, the eight of coins. Okay. Alright. So, I feel like the karmic feels like they still got shit that they got. They still have shit that they have planned to grow. Like, they still have to work with each other regardless of what. You know what I'm saying? They still have crops that are still growing. You know what I'm saying? It, it, we got to work this out. We got to work this together. So, it doesn't matter what the fuck you feel, you know? You can't leave me in a situation where I'm not financially able to take care of myself and able to provide for myself. I feel like they have to they have to work together he has to work together to help her financially. It's like, you can't just leave me. You got to work. You, we got to work this out. You can't just leave me like this. You see what I'm saying? This is a strength card. This woman feels weak. This I feel like this woman feels powerless and she feels weak right now considering the situation. 
I feel like they've been going through a lot of vicious arguments. A lot of vicious arguments with that Knight of Swords. And right now she's just continuously trying to work hard to like piece things together and try to, you know, repair. I want to say the relationship and the reputation, like a reputation. Because like the Eight of Coins, this is someone that is putting a lot of work into whatever it is that they're crafting because they care about their reputation in the streets. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like there's been a lot of fighting and stuff like that. There's been a lot of fighting. And I most definitely feel like this girl is working very hard to try to clean up her reputation. And she's just like, you can't just walk away from me like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, we still got to work on this. We still got shit we trying to grow. Like, I'm not strong enough to do this on my own. You know? <laughs> I'm not strong enough to do this on my own. Please give the karmic overall guidance for April. Oop, fell down. No self-acceptance. That's all I needed. That self-acceptance fell down. There's no self-acceptance about this situation and her part in this situation. Um, Where was I going? I was going right here. Please clarify this spread for the comics in regards to the, her situation with the Divine Masculine for April. Y'all getting a special treat today because I don't know me do all of this shit with the karmic bullshit. But I'm just intrigued because I'm like, why the hell was he looking at that baby like that? <laughs> These cards be tripping me out sometimes. Please give me guidance around this karmic. The four pinnacles in reverse. Having to let go of a foundation. The devil in reverse. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. The ten of cups. Swords. The world. Yeah, the karmic basically feels she did something. She's like, whatever she's doing, she's doing something. This girl has some type of like secret lifestyle or something like that or some type of toxic addiction or something that she's having to let go of that she realized is hurting her financial foundation. You know what I'm saying? Like if the divine masculine is ready to abandon the situation with her, she's like, hold on, where the fuck is you going? Like you can't just walk away because like how the fuck am I about to pay these bills and do all of this shit and take care of this baby and shit like this. If you just walk the fuck away and just leave me right now, like, you can't do this shit. And then the Divine Masculine is like, okay, you saying that, but bitch, you talking to motherfucker um, Felipe. You talking to whole ass Felipe over there. So what the fuck you want me to do? Like, you over there talking to Felipe, I have a very big doubt that that baby is mine. So at the end of the day, like... If you if you need help financially, you better go ask Felipe for for uh for help. And she's like, no, like I like you're right. Like I really shouldn't have even been doing that shit. Like I it's some shit that I need to address. I need to stop doing. I got issues, and I know I need to work on this shit with this devil in reverse. This is her like accepting that it's some real toxic, nasty shit going on or this could even mean that there was a full-blooded another relationship going on on the side with this karmic do you understand what i'm saying and this girl is willing to drop this because it's like it's not worth her allowing her having a sexual addiction or her being addicted to a sexual life or or like i listen this person could be doing a whole bunch of shit I feel like whatever it is, it's a real nasty ass, slutty ass. Hierophant in reverse. Like, it's like, this person could be like prostitute. And then you all, and then wasn't it the, um, 
the nine of coins in reverse. The nine of coins could be someone that's that's a prostitute, someone that sleeps with people for money. Do you understand what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's like this person is like, listen. I don't think she feel like she's strong enough to take care of herself on her own. Like she has to live this lifestyle. Like she has to do this type of shit in order to provide a lifestyle for her. And that's why she's like, you can't just leave me. You got to work on this. I'm not strong enough to do this by myself because I feel like the divine masculine came in her life and was finally like actually helping her out with some shit. But she still couldn't stop this whole ass behavior. You see what I'm saying? And now it's fucking up her money at home. You see what I'm saying? It's fucking up her foundation. What, what I say number four means what? Foundations. Do you understand? It's fucking up that reliability. All right? Bitch was being a little bit too daring. Okay? And fucked up that damn foundation, bitch. That bitch fucked up that happy home. That bitch fucked up a happy home not being able to fight temptation. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because she had a happy home and she does have a family with the divine masculine. So if any of y'all think or questioning if this woman has a child, if there is a baby, this is confirming it. They do have a family, a family. You understand what I'm saying? This ain't no just dating and we just living and shit. No, these motherfuckers have a child together. Okay. This is her child's father. Do you understand? And this is her like having to. Take herself out of a situation. Really sit back and self-reflect on some shit. You know? Like I said, that self-acceptance fell down. But I feel like right now, she is like, you know, coming out of hibernation. And really got herself the fuck together. And after she done goddamn meditated a little bit. And like, you know what? I want... I want the chapter of this person or who the fuck I was. And all of this shit that I was doing that casted this doubt over my relationship where I had a happy environment here like I just want to move forward I want to close that chapter I don't even want to resonate there no more and I want to say I feel like this girl is almost begging the divine masculine to stay and not leave her you know what I'm saying because she's just like I, I like like I was I'm addicted to this like I don't know how to like I've, I've had to do this because you know like <laughs> Because I feel like the girl needed money. The girl needed money. Because the, the, it's about money. It was about money. Even at the end, it's like the eight of coins. It's the eight of coins. She's having to work on herself to fix her reputation and shit like that. So that she could keep her investments in place. Do you feel me? Alright, just give me one card in regards. What is this? Growing up. Wanting to grow in experience. Rejections of perpetual youth. Mm. Like, this girl need to grow the fuck up. She gonna have to grow up in this situation because you got a baby coming. Or you just had a fucking baby. You gonna have to grow the fuck up, little girl. And I do want to say little girl because I feel like this is a little girl. You, you need to grow up, little girl. All right. So this means, all right, growing up, understanding. Hold on. It says understanding that the years bring their lessons to you. Embrace becoming older, watching time make its marks upon you and embracing the signs of aging, understanding the wisdom that can come with age. Being young at heart, yet yearning for encounters that will help you evolve. Growing and experiencing the fullness of life. I feel like this situation that you went through, I feel like this situation for this comic, this shit shook her ass. This shit shook her ass and this shit woke her up because it's just like, I think she was, she ain't think she was about to get abandoned with a baby because this bitch is about to get abandoned with a baby. Okay. This girl is like, <laughs> this car says, fuck feelings. You have logic for a reason. Use it. I feel like this girl been operating in a, a way where it's just like, she don't give a fuck about nobody's feelings. Like, I don't think that she actually really thought about the logic of what 
to actually come of this situation. And I want to say that this girl don't even know who the motherfucking baby father is because it's definitely two men there. Play like it. You're on the same team. Play like it. You're on the same team. Play like it. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like this girl is going to tell a divine masculine, like, listen, fuck, fuck feelings. Fuck feelings right now, all right? Fuck feelings, and let's play like we on some fuck feelings shit, all right? You have logic for a reason. Use it. We on the same team here. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I really do feel like this girl is really, really going to try her best. To try to use her logic to try to convince the divine masculine that they on the same team and that they really, really need to work on this shit together and that he shouldn't just up and fucking leave her like that, okay? Because I believe that this girl is not financially stable by herself and now they got a goddamn baby <laughs> and she don't know what the fuck she about to do if this nigga just walk out because bitch you pregnant you can't go out there hoeing and shit like that once your belly start to grow like what the fuck are you gonna do after a while you gonna start having you gonna stop having a hoe so like this nigga walk out on you and right in the middle stage where you in the last little bits of the trimester and shit bitch who and, 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 and you done pissed the divine masculine and all what does it says fertility in reverse Whoa. Temptation. Oh. Yo, I feel like that for that thing, that fertility that's growing in her belly, that was based off of that temptation and she was that's not his baby, bruh. That is not this man's motherfucking baby. Because we already said that this bitch is fighting the temptation like a devilish urge. You understand what I'm saying? That this bitch lives a very non-traditional lifestyle. Possibly be hauling around for money and shit like that. You already know that there's a king of wands in the energy. And the divine masculine is the king. Is, it's swore searching for truth. This... Thing that is being fertile and that's growing in the in this woman's belly is not the divine masculine. It is the temptations, child. I am done. You guys have a good fucking day. This is why I don't be digging in the car, making all. I don't be doing all of that. I don't be doing all of that. But I uh, listen. I love y'all. Y'all get this shit together. Y'all go to Miss C. Y'all get a day in the test. Get you a day in the test. I love y'all. I'm out. Love light. Um, y'all, if y'all can help me out with the time stamp between where I'm talking about the divine masculine versus divine, um, I ain't, ooh, that is not, his, uh, divine masculine and his little divine feminine, because that's going to have to be his divine feminine. That's his baby mother shit, bitch. Y'all enjoy them cards. Anyway, <laughs> I see y'all. If this video resonated, y'all hit that like button. If you want to book a personal private reading, hit that about tab, okay? Scorpion Red Tarot at Simply Book Me, alrighty? Alrighty. If you liked this video and if it resonated for you, because this was the tea. <laughs> Y'all motherfucking hit and drop a dollar to in that PayPal. I love y'all. Love and light, bitch.